talk to me about Carl. I mean, when I had Kymanda here, I mean, I grilled them on like, let's just get it over with. I mean, <laughs> I, I actually read bits and pieces of that interview. <laughs> I was just like laughing. I'm like, I'm glad you guys are here and I really want to talk to you, but I, I just need to know about Carl and Lindsay. So, I mean, is Carl the one that got away? I know you guys live in the same building. I know your friends. I mean, Carl's gone through a lot, right? Like, you know, I mean, I think like certainly like losing a sibling and like sobriety, like it's a different Carl these days, right? Yeah. Um, you know, it is, but it isn't. It, Carl this side of Carl has always been there. And it's a side that I've always seen, you know, which was always a little frustrating because I saw this amazing side to Carl. I mean, think about it. Why That's also why we attempted to date a couple of years ago is because I saw this incredible side to him, but he never, he, he didn't always get that opportunity to share that side of him with the world, but I was privileged enough to see it. So um, it's not a completely different side to him. I think it's just like eliminating all the bad parts that brought out the bad, um, you know, things that were all, you know, honestly, like it happens to all of us. And, you know, now you just get to see like all good and um, it's exciting. And I'm, I'm very, very proud and happy for him because um, he's put in a lot of work. And it's just the fact that he, he did it on his own is just incredible. Is he the one that got away? I mean, if he called you right now and said, Lindsay, listen, I, I've had done some thinking this weekend. Like, let's just make this official. Let's just date. Let's just skip like the first date, the second date. Let's just, I want you to be my girlfriend. What would you say, Lindsay? I mean, I, I was going to say, like, you can't be the one that got away if like you're still like if we're together, you know, like, yeah. Are we dating? Yes, we are dating if that's what you're looking for. <laughs> that is exactly what I'm looking for. That's great, right? I mean, this is a good thing, right? Yeah, I mean, it's a great thing. There's nothing better in life than to, you know, like develop such an incredible foundation of friendship and then, you know, seemingly and successfully transition that into a new dynamic that includes romance. Um, I mean, that is like kind of the ultimate, ultimate goal when you're looking for a partner. So totally, yes, it's a good thing. <laughs> and we're both excited and we're both really happy. As you smile from ear to ear. And how convenient is it that you live in the same building? That's got to be convenient. Well, yeah, I mean, I think that was definitely extremely helpful, um, especially as we as a city have kind of gone in and out of, you know, quarantine and COVID pandemic rules. Um, you know, it's, it's definitely been very, very helpful to live in the same building. What is the best thing about, you know, Carl as a boyfriend? Um, I don't know. I mean, he's just like, we just, we, we very much speak the same language and we can, talk about anything under the, the sun and the moon. I think that's just like so incredible. Um, we really enjoy each other's company, which is something that we've always really enjoyed, but now we just enjoy much, much more of it. Um, and we just, we have a great time. Like, you know, being able to wake up and crack up laughing is just so fun. Like, you know, sometimes when you wake up, you don't want to be up, but like he makes waking up fun. <laughs> well, yeah, so that's good. Who do you think will be the next of the Summer House people to get married? You and Carl, Danielle. We have Danielle in a serious relationship now, Paige and Craig. Who would you put your money on? Yeah, that's a tough one. Um, you know, I'm not much of a gambler, <laughs> even though now it's, you know, apparently legal in New York. I've right? seen a million commercials, but um, that is a really tough one. I guess I would say Danielle and Robert. I, I Probably mean, I would, I would put it on them to, to be the next, I guess the next to like get engaged. That, that would, I mean, that makes sense to me. What about if I said, you know, someone is coming back from the past, who would you choose to have back from the past summer house cast? And we can go all the way back to season one. If you had to choose someone. 
Okay. Um, I would say, I mean, listen, there's a couple of people that I've forgotten about. So give me a minute. Um, I mean, I think some people in the audience have too, but we have Christina Gibson, we have Stephen McGee, we have Jacqueline Everett, the work is twins, Amrit, Hannah Burner. Yeah, I would probably say, I mean, I would say Everett just because, you know, me, Carl and Kyle are still very, very close with him. Um, you know, the boys have been, they've always been in that same guy group for a while. Um, or maybe a meet, a meet just because he didn't really do much. <laughs> it was just like there and harmless. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, or Jacqueline, I'm very close to Jacqueline still Jacqueline from season one. She's still one of my very close friends and we hang out, um, as much as we can. So we also yeah. have like Jordan, who I forgot to mention. What about who would you least like to have come back out of that group? Hmm. Um, who would I least want to come back? I mean, probably the person who didn't come back this summer. <laughs> I just think there was a lot of unnecessary make-believe drama and subsequent turmoil um, that, you know, we don't, we don't really need. This was a much lighter season. And I think that's a, a big part of it. And that's what the world needs. What do you think after six seasons are like the biggest misconceptions about Lindsay Hubbard and Hub House? You know, like we have seen you on this, you know, you want to date, you want to date. I mean, I know you're dating Carl now, but like, do you think, like, what, what do you think are the misconceptions about you or like something you hear all the time or like, I'm so not that person? Yeah, I mean, you know, I've just heard my entire life, like I'm so intimidating, I'm so intimidating. And then I, the other day I was talking to, um, I was talking to somebody and I just was like, you know, I'm so tired of this because I'm really not an intimidating person. I'm just secure within myself and I'm very confident and like, I'm so much fun. I'm a jokester. I'm laughing all the time. I love to have fun and I'm not intimidating. Uh, and it, and it took me a while to, to realize, you know, throughout the years that it's other people who are intimidated and it's not a me problem. I'm not intimidating. I'm just secure and confident within myself that other people are intimidated by that. So that's probably it. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. Well, listen, I have thoroughly enjoyed watching you for six seasons. I do not say that to everyone, Lindsay. So oh, thank you, David. <laughs> just keep doing what you're compliment. doing. Is there anything else you want to share before we wrap up? I like to give people a chance at the end. You know, where can everyone find you online or anything I didn't bring up that you want to address? No, I mean, you know, I think that you're going to see a lot like the, that's the, that's the craziest part is like, there's still so much. I mean, you have the next three to four months to like really see everything that happened last summer. And, and, you know, it was seven, eight months ago. So, so yeah, so you'll learn a lot this summer. And, um, I think that it'll, it'll start, you'll start to like, see how everything unravels and then you'll catch up to us in the present day. And then as far as where to follow me, just follow me on Instagram at Lynn's Hubs.